Welcome to Hands on Deep Learning with TensorFlow. My name is Salil Vishnu Kapoor and I'm presently working as a research assistant at the Institute for Big Data Analytics at Dalhousie University. I have around 3 years of professional experience working in data science field as a researcher at Deep Vision and prior to that as a senior analyst. Also have a good track record of publications and good conferences. Also recently I got to be author of data analytics for deriving knowledge from user feedback a chapter published by taylor and francis i have a personal blog as geek as service where i try to upload new and the technical stuff regarding machine learning and deep learning you can mail me at salvishnu kapoor at gmail.com and my resume is available at linkedin so let me brief you about what we have in this course for you so this is about deep learning and deep learning as has boomed in the past couple of years so it is extensively used nowadays the tensorflow api developed by google is like crazily used nowadays and trust me there is extensive demand for data scientists with the skill set of tensorflow with deep learning now in this course i'll be covering all these important topics for you cnn rnn lstm autoencoders and gans and with lot of hands on practice so let's see what we have in this course section 1 setting up the deep learning playground so in this we'll be setting up the environment for you so that you have everything installed on your systems and we are going to guide you about these basics of tensorflow as well the session the gradient optimizers here and all this stuff section 2 training feed for all neural networks with tensorflow so in this we learn how to build the basic neural network using tensorflow so this will be paving your grounds to become good deep learning expert with tensorflow here we are going to design these networks build lot many layers into this do all the learning using hands on practice that's going to be fun section 3 applying cnn on two real data sets where we learn the basics of cnn the architecture convolutional the pooling layers play around with the data set build the network using these layers convolutional layers and then add a fully connected layer then train the model so yes that's really interesting part section 4 exercise rnn to solve two time series problems in this we understand the recurrent neural network the lstm and their usage for the different data sets that you will be incurring in your future and for this we will be taking two data sets like river flow level of turtle river and another one so here you can see we'll be predicting our model is going to predict some valuable insights that are going to be nearly same as the original one so our model is quite intelligent so it's going to be the best part in the deep learning course section 5 using auto encoders to efficiently represent data in this we understand the purpose of auto encoders play around with linear auto encoders stack three layer auto encoders and the data sets here we train our model and basically write the computational graph for building up this network and many more things section 6 that is the generative adversarial networks for creating synthetic data set we learn how we can create the synthetic data set learn to code generators discriminators here we learn to build up this generator discriminators in detail the loss function computations then predicting how our values are so yes what are you waiting for let's get started with this journey on hands on deep learning with tensorflow